Well, the good news is we got about, uh, what would you say, 12 inches of ground clearance? <laughs> Maybe even more than that, Dad, something like 14. Oh, it's cold out there today. Oh, first time, Tommy. Here we go. A little bit of history in the making. Oh, this is awesome, Dad. There we go. Look at the speed. <laughs> it stopped. Good pushing, Dad. I'm pushing. It's working great. I'm pushing. Doors flying open. Great pushing. I can't we got some speed off. now. Tommy, this is a really daft idea. Why are we taking the Model <laughs> T out in the middle of the biggest snowstorm of the last three years? <laughs> That's a good question, Dad, because we need to find out how our forefathers drove in the snow. So we're going to get the 1915 started on this cold March day and see how it performs in the cold snow. But first, we've got to put some gas in it, which is quite the process. It's under the tank, and we need some gravity help from our jerry can here. Yeah, under the seat. Yeah, it's under the seat, excuse me, right on the money. Um, so this is supposed to be the worst snowstorm in the last three years. Eldora, a ski area near here, just got 30 inches. We've, we've got tires with barely tr any tread. Well, hold on there, Smokey. Yeah. This car's got new rear tires. Why don't you show them the rear tires, Ian? They're in good condition. And those are the only tires we need. The front tires on this car don't do a whole lot. Yeah, they steer. <laughs> <laughs> but apart from steer, the drive and the brakes are all done through the rear, which are so, brand new. So we're experiencing what it was like uh, to take a Model T out in 19, what year is this, 15? You got it. Uh, in the middle of a snowstorm. This, this seems daft, Tommy. How about this? Um, you start up, you drive it, and I'll sit here and wait for you to get stuck, and then I'll come rescue you. Not going to get stuck, Dad. Back oh. in the day, you couldn't get stuck because there the, were no tow trucks. Did, did the Model T have uh, four-wheel drive or all-wheel drive? <laughs> no, not from the factory, Dad. No? And there were actually later on Model T tow trucks, but if you lived out in the country like we, like we do now, they're few and far between. So let me show you what we're dealing with here, guys. Look, it's a winter wonderland. Middle of, at least according to the uh, weather people, the worst snowstorm in uh, the last three years in Colorado. The snow is deep. I'd say probably uh, a good four or five inches here at the ranch, wet uh, and uh, it would not be my choice of Model T weather, but uh, you know, we have to figure out what it was like back in 1915 for the hardy souls that came before us to drive one of the first mass produced cars in the snow. Well, the good news is we got about, uh, what would you say, 12 inches of ground clearance? <laughs> Maybe even more than that, Dad, something like 14. I believe these are 23 inch wheels and you can see our rear tires. This is a Firestone design, which is pretty similar to how it would have been back in the day. No siping, not a ton of tread block, but. Do you want to air down? No, I don't think we should air the tube down. If that's <laughs> okay. what you're wondering, All right. Dad. All right, we won't air down. Do uh, you want the heater on? Um, there's no heater. Okay, all right. There's no windows. Now, Dad, we could yeah. put up the top. All right. That would take between 15 and 24 months okay. um, and with the top up you might get some protection from snow coming down yeah. but there are no sides so you really don't get a lot of winter protection at all no w windshield wipers no heater no side windows nothing this is about as basic as it gets and it's nice and dirty dad from our there's a horn it's nice and dirty from our last trip to uh the grasslands the good news is Overheating is not going to be such an issue. <laughs> I think you're right on the money, Dad. Um, now, one more thing we should mention. We were lucky enough to have this little shed to keep it in. Back in the day, they probably didn't have antifreeze, so you would have to run water. Yeah. And when the water freezes, you've got freeze plugs, so hopefully it doesn't crack the block or the head. Yeah. Um, but you might have to actually warm up with like a little fire or some kind of acetylene torch to warm up the radiator so you could melt the water in the engine. All right, let's see. We got antifreeze in this one, though. Let's see how we do. Spark is down. Make sure that left lever is all the way up, would you? Thank you. Okay, you ready? Yeah. Whoa, it's cold out there today. Oh, first time, Tommy. Pretty good.
All right, so we're running on battery. Let's switch it to Magneto. She runs a little rough when she's cold, Dad, but once it warms up, it'll smooth out nicely. I feel like we're uh, living in 1915. You want to lick that? That would be quite the shock. No, I don't want to lick it. No. You could. I don't want to lick it. No, thanks. That'd be like 27 volts right to the tongue. Would that yeah. be good for you? Yeah, no. No, you Okay. All right, so when you get stuck, I'll come and push you. I'm not going to get stuck. You're going to get stuck. I'm not going to get stuck. I'll come and push you. I have utmost confidence in Henry Ford's engineering. You're going to get stuck right there. you got to wait for it to smooth out a little. You want me to push you out? I got reverse. I gotta get it in gear first. All right. You are good, congratulations. Here we go. A little bit of history in the making. Oh, this is awesome, Dad. <laughs> He's going downhill. You're going downhill, I wanna see you go uphill. Here we go! Here we go! First gear! <laughs> go around oh no! Let's see. Yeah, go! <laughs> Alright, I'll push you. Let's see if you can get momentum. I'll try to give you a push. Here, let me back it up where it's flatter. Yeah, back it up more. Okay, here I go. All right, here we go. Hold on. You ready? Yep. Go. Yay! Good work! It's going! Yeah, it's I'm working! You. <laughs> it stopped! Back it back down the hill. Here, straighten out the front wheels. We'll back it back down. <laughs> Hold on. Pushing on the radiator is not a good idea. There we go. There we go. Look at the speed! Oh no! So the Model T is really hard to rock in the snow because you gotta keep that left pedal in the middle for neutral and then push in the right pedal for reverse. Here we go. Oh, it's working. Did you get back in the shed? We got it. All right, go, go for a drive and you can make it up the hill. Oh, it doesn't work at all.
having all the fun, I'm doing all the pushing. Okay! Can you get enough momentum to get it back in the shed? I blame the snow, it's too deep. I blame the tires. Well, I mean, okay, so the fronts are bald. Yeah. But the fronts also don't have any power ability or stopping ability. All the brakes are in the back. All right, how about this? Get it going as fast as you can. I'll push as hard as I can. We can maybe get it back in the shed. Okay. Uh, maybe. We got, we're supposed to get another 24 hours of snow, so this will be, you know. It'll be stuck here. Yeah, all right, here. So let's see if we can get enough momentum for you to go down the hill. Okay. All right? Yeah, sounds good. And then up the hill. And then up the hill. Yeah, that's gonna be the hard part. It's pretty funny seeing these little tiny slits in the snow. I mean, look, the tires are about three and a half inches wide. <laughs> I think, you know, Dad, what we probably need are chains. We probably should get some chains for this thing, huh? Do they have chains for in back in the day? I, don't I know. bet they did. What we need is that Tacoma. That's yeah, we, we might need. need a tow. Yeah. All right, well, let's see if it, I can help you. Worst comes to worst, we could also put it in that shed. Yeah, that might be easier shed. You could pull out the side by side because then you can just got to go in there. You want to do that? I think that's our only hope. Yeah, I think you're going to make it up the hill. You want to try up the hill? You always back down. I, yeah. Let's try. Let's, I'll give you a push. Let's see if we can make it up the hill. And if not, we'll put it in the shed, in the other shed. You ready? Good pushing, Dad. I'm pushing. It's working great. I'm pushing. Doors wide open. Great pushing. I can't we got some speed off. now. Keep pushing. What are you doing? Maybe if Ian helps you. Ian, you want to help? You gotta go back down. What'd you say? We gotta go back down and have Ian help me. Our videographer. Okay. Are you ready? Yeah. Okay, yeah. and go! Good speed, people! It's looking good! Keep it up! Keep it up! Yeah, we're almost there! Great pushing, great pushing! One big hump! Okay. We're so close. We're almost into the shed now. How you feeling? Here. If you have the gloves, let me try to clear some of the snow out. Here. Are I'm you good? getting too old for this. <laughs> we could also run a strap to that door with the winch and just whoop. Or yeah, plus my pants are falling off. Well, that's not the car's fault. Okay. You think they had max tracks back in the day? That's what we really need. You okay. want to just, uh, how about this? Yeah. How about we just get the uh, trail hound and winch it up? Yeah, we could, I think that's a good idea. Let's do that. Let me see if I can, if my sweeping has helped at all. Oh no, it worked! What? It died. Yeah. You know why it died? Why? Because it's too steep. Let's just get the trail hound. The carburetor's a, a, up above the fuel tank and now there's not fuel going to the carburetor. Yeah. Just a little bit of an incline will do that. Yeah. Let's just hook the winch to that. Okay. We'll go get it. Let's go do that. I have a much better idea, Tommy. What's that, Dad? Does the Pioneer have a winch? Um, yes. That's all we need, really. Yeah, we can winch with the Honda. Let's, let's winch it with the Honda. Okay, yeah, sounds good. That's, you know, we don't need that giant truck. 
Yeah, let's go get the That's Honda. That's a Ram 2500. Let's just get the Pioneer. All right, Dad, it's real cold today. Let's see if this Pioneer cranks to life. It's a Honda. Of where, course it where does. Did, where, where did he go? He, he picked it up. Where the heck did he go? Wait, I think I hear it. You hear the Pioneer? Oh, there he is. Of course he's doing that. At least we got some uh, driving footage today. Oh yeah, for sure. Now it's a two-wheel drive. Let's see four-wheel yeah, drive. Four-wheel. I love that, Tommy. That is so cool. Works pretty well, huh, hey, Dad? Yeah, so I say, why don't you uh, pull it up the door? Yep. And that way we won't, you know, hit the okay, line we'll on the. Up. Uh, yeah. Hey, keep coming, keep coming, keep coming. You got a little bit, you got like two feet. Okay, that should be good. Stop. You want to let it, let it loosen up? Here, I'll switch with you. I got the gloves on. All right. We're putting this Pioneer to work today, Dad. Okay, and then I'll put something on the, let me get something to put it on the, uh, on the cable, just so we're safe. There you go, Tommy. I'll put that on the cable. Cool. Cool. That sounds good. You want a winch in? Yeah, I'll winch in. Let me get behind the wheel. Give me a thumbs up when you're ready. Dad. A little more. A little more. Yay. We're in. Woohoo. Good work, Dad. All right, now, here's the thing. There's not a lot of good places to winch from, so I winched to the front axle where the control arm meets it. That's kind of a strong point on these Model Ts, but ideally we could winch it to the frame, but I guess they assume no one would ever get stuck in a Model T. I gotta tell you, between that and the Pioneer, we have come a long way. <laughs> we sure have, Dad. We have come a long way. Here, you want for the pressure on? I'll, I'll bring it in all the way. Yep. All right, I'll bring it in all the way. Bring her in. Pull her in. Okay, you got two feet, a foot. Okay, stop. 
Tap it. 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 Okay, we're there. Cool. I'm going to start it up so we can get the fuel out of it. Okay. Cool. You got it turned off? Yeah. Up. Back up and running, Dad. <laughs> so we're going to let it run until it gets all the fuel out of the system. All right, Dad. Well, kind of a fail. All right, no, I think the Pioneer was a win. Look, I think the problem was... A, you're right. The tires, even though they're in great shape, they're just not very grippy. And B, the snow is just so dense and full of water and so thick that it, it just it didn't stand a chance, the poor Look, Model I mean, T. We've got 1915 tire and automobile technology. Right. And Ford, they did have some cool solutions. Like, have you ever seen the little Ford tractor that had the corkscrews on them that could yeah, go through the snow? Yeah. They had yeah. some really cool solutions back in the day. I'm sure there were solutions to this as well. Maybe we need a little bit of uh, Googling. I think you're right, Dad. To find out exactly what people did back in the day, because they certainly couldn't have gone up anything greater than like a 1% hill. In, in the, the snow, snow. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Well, guys, thank you for watching this episode. Dad, thank you for your help today. I really appreciate it. Yeah, I, I feel like I need to go out and jack some more, because I'm pretty out of shape. <laughs> I, I have let myself go, Tommy. And we'll see you guys next time. Thanks for your help again. Yeah. Ciao. See you guys.